Today I'm going to teach you audience segments in Google Ads step by step in this 2024 updated tutorial. I'll run you through audience segments on one of my real life e-commerce client accounts so that you can see a real world example of how this looks. I'll show you how to add audience segments the right way. I will teach you the difference between targeting mode and observation mode and a pro tip coming up is also going to be one little audience segment you can add that almost always works. Also towards the end I will cover the type of audience segment to avoid wasting your time on. Alright, so let's dive in. So here we are in my client account and I am already on the audiences section. To get here all I did was from the main campaign screen I found the search campaign I wanted to edit. I clicked into that campaign and then on the sidebar I found the button for audiences, I clicked it and here we are. In this case this is a real live client account and we already added audience segments previously. So here's how it will look later after you have added audience segments and collected data on them. For you right now this section will probably be blank but don't sweat it. Because I added audience segments before and already collected lots of data on these segments I can see some info here. You can see the type of audience here, and I'm ranking by descending order of return on ad spend. This campaign averages a return on ad spend of 7x, so anything above 7x is performing well above the campaign average. In this case, the retargeting audiences that are retargeting the existing customer list perform strongly, as we might expect for a product such as this that gets a good repurchase rate. These three audiences here are the strongest performing cold audiences and here's a little lesson for you e-commerce store advertisers. I always find that these Black Friday audiences perform well. I've seen this across dozens of accounts. Even outside of Black Friday the audience of people who generally like to buy things on Black Friday generally performs well for e-commerce advertisers and I often recommend adding it as an audience segment. Regardless of what time of year it is and regardless of whether or not you actually do Black Friday discounts. To add a new audience segment click here where it says edit audience segments. Add it to the campaign level not the ad group level. Audience segments targeting is quite broad and the impact on results is not huge so it's just not worth customizing this at the ad group level in most cases. Campaign level is fine. Once you click campaign level then you see this window here. Alright, so the first thing to talk about is whether you should do targeting mode or observation mode. The short answer is do observation mode. <laughs> the longer answer is targeting mode will narrow your audience. So if you use targeting mode, now in your search campaign you will only be targeting someone if they searched for the keywords you are targeting and they also happen to be in whatever audiences you added in targeting mode. 99% of cases this is not what you want, it's too limiting. Observation mode on the other hand does not change the targeting of your campaign. Adding in observation mode allows you to observe the performance of any audience you add without changing the fact that you are still going to target everyone searching for the keywords you added to your campaign. Now there is one use case for targeting mode in my opinion and it's this. Let's say for example I am advertising this product here which is a 3-in-1 MagSafe charger for Apple iPhones that also charges your watch and headphones if you want it to. Alright, so this first one here is a normal campaign. I would call it something like search product and I would have my usual keywords in here. Keywords like iPhone charger, 3-in-1 charger, MagSafe charger, etc. And the audiences I would use in here in a normal campaign would be in observation mode only. And I would be adding audiences like in market for iPhone, affinity for iPhone, previous website visitors and so on. And we're going to cover this in just a moment. This normal campaign will now target everyone searching those keywords whilst allowing me to observe the performance of people who fall into these audiences. This second one here is the one use case I recommend for targeting mode. I call this a RTG head terms campaign. RTG means retargeting. I have my retargeting audiences in targeting mode. For example, retargeting people who have been to my product page past 14 days or people who have been anywhere on the website past 3 days. There are no cold traffic audiences in here, only retargeting audiences and only in targeting mode. Now what we do is for our keywords we add head terms, meaning we add much broader than normal keywords. In this case I might add the keyword iPhone in there. Normally for this iPhone charger we would not want to advertise on the keyword iPhone. 
it's too broad. They could be looking for an iPhone case or to buy the latest iPhone. There's a good chance they're not in the market just to buy my iPhone charger. But with the retargeting audiences in targeting mode, now we are targeting only people who are searching something to do with iPhone and who have also been to my website recently. Considering this extra layer of targeting, now we can actually target a very general keyword like iPhone and get good performance out of it. So this is more of a pro level tip. And as I say, in most cases, you are going to be using observation mode. So back to Google Ads here, and let's make sure to highlight observation mode right here when adding my audiences, as this campaign is going to be one of my normal search campaigns, not a RTG head terms campaign. Okay, now you want to start out by typing in a few search phrases that are relevant for your product. Let's assume I'm advertising for that same iPhone charger I showed you just now. So let's try searching for iPhone. After you type this in, Google serves some suggestions. Add all the ones that seem relevant. I recommend trying at least a couple of search phrases here. So let's do one more and this time let's try phone chargers. Okay, so I've typed it in and now I will just scan down again and look for relevant audiences. Oh, here's one, mobile phone enthusiasts. So let's add that. Once you have done searching, click over to browse. Under browse, we have five different audience segment types. I recommend always adding stuff for affinity in market and your data segments. I recommend sometimes adding detailed demographics if it's relevant to your business. And I don't ever recommend using combined segments. Audience segments are not super precise and trying to get all precise by adding combined segments. When you are doing a simple observation mode audience added to your normal search campaign, for the most part is not worth it. So ignore combined segments. That's the audience type you don't need to waste your time on. For detailed demographics, it's not relevant for every advertiser, but if we look in here, we see we have parental status, marital status, and so on. Sometimes this is relevant. For example, maybe you are a B2B advertiser and there's something relevant under employment and then industry. So if there is anything relevant to you under detailed demographics, add it. If not, no worries. For affinity, always try to add at least a couple of relevant things here. Click in and once here, you may notice that this search as you did at the beginning already turned up some stuff. All good. Let's just scan and see what else is relevant. For my iPhone charging stand, I would be looking here under technology. Mobile enthusiasts and technophiles seem legit to me, so let's add. Go through the rest of the categories, click in, add anything that's relevant. This one here for shopping enthusiasts, I know often works well for e-commerce, so let's add it. Repeat the same process for in-market. Click in, browse around, add everything that is relevant. Under consumer electronics, I can see that yes, I already found mobile phone accessories and iOS phones thanks to the searches I did at the beginning, so all good. Under seasonal shopping, as mentioned before, these audiences can work well any time of the year and regardless of whether you do a Black Friday or Christmas promotion. So I normally add them for e-commerce advertisers. In this case, for this product, I will probably add mobile phone service providers under my audiences too. People in the market for a mobile phone service provider will often be getting a new phone and thus it's a good time to be thinking about a charger for their phone. Finally, under your data segments, this is where you can add your retargeting audiences. There's no real cost to adding more audiences as this is just in observation mode anyway, so I recommend adding pretty much all your active website visitor audiences and your customer lists if you have any of those uploaded. Once you're all done, hit save and you are good. I'll click cancel as I don't want to actually edit this real life campaign. Probably give it at least a couple of weeks, maybe a month plus depending on how much you are spending. And next time you come back here to the audiences segment tab, you shall start seeing your observation data here and this should give you useful insights as to how to modify your creative targeting or overall account strategy. Now that you've got your audience segments down in Google Ads, you might be looking to get really, really good at optimizing your performance max campaigns. If that sounds like you, check out this video right here. Thanks guys and I hope to see you on the next one.